Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Bishop Thomas Olmsted of Phoenix deserves nothing less than high praise for his decision this week to strip a hospital in his diocese of its status as a Catholic hospital. The hospital, St. Joseph's, is part of a larger medical organization that is relatively big, Catholic Healthcare West. In tandem, they have been operating under the umbrella of being Catholic. All the while, they have been performing abortions, sterilizations, handing out contraceptives, you name it. In the high-profile case from 2009, a nun on staff actually gave the approval. A nun gave the approval for a direct abortion. In short, they've been about as Catholic as Joseph Stalin was a capitalist. Well, finally, after intrepid reporting on the part of individuals and groups like the good folks at the American Life League, who recently reported on much of the scandal, the bishop said, enough is enough. He pulled the name Catholic, and God bless him for it. It was not an easy decision for him. These final and definitive breaks are always difficult and not easily arrived at. But he did exactly what needed to be done, and he deserves our support, the support of every faithful Catholic. We've attached an email address right over here, so you, all you have to do is click on it and express your gratitude to him in your own words. Sometimes the general chatter that circulates around cases like this is the inane comment, well, there really are no winners here. My foot, there are no winners. While the circumstances are sad and the details are disheartening, uh, this is a decision. This decision is a victory for all those who love our blessed Lord and his Catholic Church. We here at Real Catholic TV get accused all the time by a small number of people of being mean and all that about the bishops. That is absurd on its face. We call out bad actions by the men who are the successors of the apostles themselves, but so often fail to act with that in mind. When a bishop does the right thing, we are right there, as is evidenced by this vortex, celebrating his action and urging other bishops to do as well by actually doing what he says and does. Bishop Olmsted has been raked over the coals in the secular media and on the internet. That comes with the territory of defending the truth. I'm sure he doesn't care, though. Of course, he's human and no one likes to hear horrible things said about them. But in the end, he did what so many, too many, of his brother bishops continually fail to do. He did the good, noble, honorable, and right thing. He denounced evil. He took active steps to protect his flock, the whole, entire, and sole reason he is a bishop. And he announced to the world that, at least in his diocese, that for him and his diocese, he would serve the Lord. God bless Bishop Thomas Olmsted. Pray for the hospital administrators and those Catholics associated with them who have buckled and succumbed to the powers of hell. They are still breathing and still have a chance to repent. Stay close to Christ and his good bishops, my fellow Catholics, and pray for the rest of the bishops that they may learn from the actions of their brother and begin to wake up from their deep sleep of negligence toward the souls in their care. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.